I'd like to become a sonographer. Now what? This is a question a lot of you are asking yourselves or asking me. So I thought it'd be great to make a quick video explaining how to find a school in your area that's right for you. First things first, what is a sonographer? What is an ultrasound tech? What do they do? What we do is we use high frequency sound waves in order to produce images in a specific part of the patient's body to rule out abnormality, to make sure everything looks normal, just to see what's going on. These images are then presented to a radiologist or to a doctor who uses these images to treat and or diagnose a patient. It is a very rewarding, a very important job. It is very challenging if you're up for a challenge, if you're up for a job where no two days are the same, no two patients are the same, it's perfect for you. It's not easy, but it is definitely worth every minute. <laughs> Being that you're, you know, a part of treating a patient and helping somebody live a healthier, happier life. Um, why become an ultrasound tech? Many reasons. Two top reasons are because it is a high demand job. Second reason is because starting benefits, starting pay is great. Um, I don't think there's many jobs that start at the you know at the salary level that a sonographer starts at and you can do your research uh, by your state to find out what the pay is um there can be a, just a, a broad you know difference in salaries given where you, you know your geographical location for example um you know the top pay for ultrasound techs in new jersey is about let's say i think it's like 65,000. However, you shoot on over to the West Coast in Cali and the starting pay is usually like 80,000. It's a huge difference. And, you know, I think that also um, entails cost of living is a lot less expensive here, of course, in California. So that can be one reason why. Now getting into schools. Um, before finding a school, because when you find a school, you have to select um, the area in which you would like to study. For example, um, some schools have cardiovascular programs only. Some schools you can, you know, train in OBGYN and abdomen. That's one program there. You graduate, you're able to sit for your exam. How do you figure out what to choose? Um, so first, I would choose something that I'm interested in, of course. You know, when you're more interested in something, you're more interested in learning and you do better. Second off, I would research, for example, if you live in New York, I would research what jobs are most in demand, what field in ultrasound, is it cardiovascular, is it OBGYN, is it abdomen? You can also gauge your, you know, what school you'd like to choose based on the higher demand jobs. That's what I would do personally. Um, also look up job availability, job requirements. What is the pay? What are the shifts? I think before you go to school, you should know, you know, what you're investing in, what you're going to, you know, when you walk out of there, what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. You know, what hours are you going to be working? What are you going to get paid and what you're going to be doing every day? The type of patients also you're going to be dealing with. Um, when looking for a school, the first thing that is very important is to look for a school that is KHEP accredited. That's C-A-A-H-E-P. This means the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health slash Educational Programs. If you visit KAAHEP.org, they do have a list of schools, which is over 150 nationwide that are accredited. This includes hospitals, universities, you know, uh, private programs. However, I would not use this as your only um, tool in finding schools that are accredited because I did visit that website and I noticed that there were schools in my area that were not listed that are definitely KHEP accredited because they do offer advanced um, ultrasound programs, numerous ones. Um, I would also f do your research on, once you find a school, what the admission requirements are. Do you have to take prerequisites? And also, if you do take your prerequisites, does that mean that you'll get into a program? There's some schools where you take prerequisites all summer and then come September, you know, you have to test with 100 other people and the top 10 only get into the program. I, I think that's crazy. 
and it's very stressful and I'm sorry if you're going through that right now and I hope you get in um, but I feel like that's very limited and I don't think that's a fair way to gauge who's you know who's gonna be potentially a better tech or not so let's not even get into that also um, like I said find courses that interest you I would also um, learn a little bit about anatomy and physiology um, in the different body parts and the different specialties before choosing. Let's say you choose cardiovascular and you start, you know, researching on yourself, parts of the heart, and you find that it's easy, difficult to grasp and you find like, you know, something like OB is easier to grasp for you. I would just go with what you feel you can handle and what you like, what you're interested in. Um, also ask about what is very important, hands-on experience, how much extern externship time is required or given to you or clinical time um you can you know sit in a classroom all day but that hands-on time is everything also ask about how long the externship would be or you know your clinicals because some jobs require you to you know partake in an externship for six months like a nine to five job and if you're working now and you know you don't have time to do that that can be a hurdle that can you know be an issue that you can't get around or can be very tough a lot of states um i would look into the laws in your states and you know the policies at your current job and find out if you can collect unemployment while you are at your externship um i know people that this has worked for and you know even though they don't pay 100% of your salary Something's better than nothing, right? Um, and also volunteering. I think volunteering is great if you can find somewhere to volunteer, even before going to school, get a feel of you know what it's like to be an ultrasound tech in different settings, in a hospital, in a private office. Just be a fly on the wall, observe, learn, and just absorb as much as you can before making your decision. I think we pretty much covered everything. If you have any more questions, if I if I missed something, if you have any comments, you know, shoot me a message, um, and I'll, I'll be happy to respond. And if you have any suggestions on the next video, I hope this one was helpful. Let me know, and you know, you know the name. Happy scanning. <laughs>